Hello everyone, and here in this session, we are going to discuss Python MCQs part three. As you can see, the question number 21 is here. What will be the data type of the variable in the below pod snippet? So you can see here the code of, of Python, and we have to identify the data type of the variable. So where was to where is basically name of variable. It is assigned the value 10, which is integer in nature, but there is a function in Python known as type. The function in Python known as type, if we return this function and inside it, if we write any variable or direct value of any variable, it is going to fetch out the nature of that variable, that whether it is a string, whether it is integer, whether it is character or whether it is float. So obviously if it is 10, 101% it is going to fetch int, Similarly, in the next line, where equals to hello, print type where again it is going to see the value variable as it is written in double quotes. Whatever is written under double quotes or single quotes in Python, it is going to be as a string. It is going to be work as a string. So this print is going to return int, and this print is going to return the type as a string. So int and str option A is the right. Next one. What will be the output of the following Python code? Print abc.def.capitalize and then parenthesis is there. So if you are going to see here, uh, this is the string because it is written on, inside the double quotes. And when the function capitalize, dot capitalize, it means it is going to work and uh, it is going to convert the first letter, first letter of the string to capitalize it. If it is lowercase, it is going to convert it into the uppercase. So it would look like abc.def. It simply means that it is going to capitalize only the first letter of the string, nothing else. That is why option A is the correct answer. Question number 23, to add a new element to a list, we use which Python command? So if you want to add a new element to a list, we need to uh, use some commands and the name of command here is append, a double p e n d. So dot append, this is a command which is going to be used for uh, adding any element into the list at the last position. Let's say we are having one, two, three, four, and if we want to add a five at the, at the let's say it is a list name list one, and we want to add something at the end, we can use the list name followed by dot, followed by the function that is append, and uh, the output would be one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so option C is the correct answer. Question number 24. In Python, find which one isn't an exception handling keyword. So basically there are uh, 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 finally, and there are try, and there are accept, they are famous keywords basically used in exception handling, but except it is not any kind of uh, exception handling keyword. So we have asked here isn't, that is why option A is the correct answer. Question number 25. In Python, the primary use of the tail method is that option A, within the file it tells the end position or option B, within the file it tells the current position or option C, it tells us if the file is open or none of the above. So basically tail method is used in the Python code for finding out the current position. That is why option B is the correct one. Question number 26, which one of the following operator is the current uh, current uh, correct option for power AB? So if you want to find the power of A to B, AB means power of A to the power B, right? It, let's say you want to find two to the power three. Then how to write, how to work on that? Basically in Python, there is a there is a method A double strict B. So it means that A to the power B. So if I will write two and double star symbol and then three, basically no spacing is between them. So it is going to work as that and the result would be written as an eight. That is why option B is the correct answer. So previous 20 questions I have already uploaded in the playlist named Python MCQs. However, the link is also mentioned 
in the description section so you can go to the links and you can watch them as well so that the knowledge over the python basic concepts of the programming will be very much clear to you and you can get something something new and something very important one by one session by session okay so the question number 27 is what happened when this single quote marks to equals to equals to two so basically this is going to be work as a string but this is not a string this is a simple number so it is going to return false because this is a string this is a number so if it would be like that then it is going to return a true or it would be like that then it is going to be written true but but the thing is that we have written one as a string and another is a data type of integer so it is false it is not a true it is false okay so option a is the correct answer question number 28 what type of inheritance is illustrated in the following python code so it is a very important question see here class a is described here and uh, thereafter pass then class b a is used here and then pass but b is using b is deriving the class from a and you can see here we have another class c which is derived from b but b is already derived from a b is already derived from a and we are deriving class c from b which is already derived from another class this is called as multi level inheritance this concept is called as multi level inheritance in which if some class is derived or some sub class is derived from its parent class or if the parent class is also derived from something else something above or something extra class that is called as multi level so option a is the correct question number 29 uh, among which of the following is our applications areas of python programming <laughs> Sorry. Option A is web development. Option B is uh, game development. Option C is uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning. On all of the above. So Python programming can be used in web development. Can be used in game development. Can be used in AI or ML. Hence, option D. All of the mentioned about would be the correct. And the question number thirty. List tuple. and range are data types which of the following data types list tuples and range sequence binary or boolean they are sequence types of data types option a is the correct answer so i hope that all the questions which i have discussed here are very much clear to you further if in any kind of question if you are having any kind of query or any kind of doubt you can ask me freely i will try to solve them your your query i will try to resolve them as early as possible from my side guys and try to be stay tuned with us for more such videos stay tuned thank you so much guys have a very nice day jai hind jai bharat